What I've spent most of the day doing today is throwing on doodads. I got the sunroof cover on. I'm probably going to put a couple more bolts in it. I got my front window bar. Um, yeah, so I got that on. Um, I did thousands of zip ties up here because I want everything to be half decently secure. Uh, I still haven't got the alternator working yet. I'm going to be doing that. Um, did some seat belts through the doors. Just drilled some holes. You guys love welding your doors. I like seat belts. We all have our kind of go-tos. Um, yep, I haven't, haven't done that door yet. But what we're going to be turning our attention to today is the back of this. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but Avalons are actually open the trunk with electronic push button. But with all the damage that was done to the back of this, the push button didn't work. So I started drilling holes trying to figure out how to pop the trunk. And I finally started up here and then there and then there and then I broke the pushing rod and then I just drilled here and was able to get it open. So we got the trunk open. Um, so we're going to lift up on the hoist uh, just so when we dimple it, it kind of wants to roll up. We're going to remove this so that way we can get the trunk nice and tight. we got to cut a peep hole in the trunk because uh, I believe that's the rules. Um, now I'm going to do something to this car that I've actually never done to any derby car ever before and that's because the rules allow it. I can replace the back bumper with tubing. So I got a 65 inch piece coming for the front and a 55 inch piece for the back. It's like 180 bucks for that steel. But I'm going to use all these factory bolts to help mount it and then I'm going to seat belt and nine wire it on there. Um, I can tuck the trunk I think I'm gonna, to be honest, I've never done the back of an Avalon. I think I did one of these before, and it went pretty good, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't really want to tuck it, guys. I think if I tuck it, I'm just gonna go into a whole bunch of different problems. Uh, the spare tire's been kicked up because I lifted this thing with my Walden. Uh, they might not like that, so I might have to pound that back down. And uh, so we're going to go through the rules and kind of see what I can do. Um, I am allowed to tuck the trunk. I don't think I'm going to. I kind of just prefer the full back trunk. I plan on using the back of this car a half decent amount to try to, I don't know, make the front of it last. Because, listen, I, I'm going to plan on just sending this thing. And I don't know. So, yeah, the first thing we got to do is cut some peepholes. So we're just going to cut our peepholes wherever we want and then fold it down. And then we're going to dimple the trunk and then come up with some kind of weird, weird game plan for this. So you guys know how I like to do this. I'm about 12 inches in. About 12 inches in. That seems to be my lucky number. It bends up. At my dimple and it bends down up here but it comes in straight so it seems to work half decent for me i'm probably going to take these and either push them out a little bit so then that way they kind of fold in i don't know we'll, we'll have to figure that one out i am allowed a little bit of nine wire i think i'm allowed two strands of nine wire mm, body work to body work so maybe i'll put that inside the trunk i i'm not sure but we'll just have to see so I'm going to start dimpling this and then try to come up with some kind of game plan, I guess. I sat here for a couple hours working on this thing. Actually, mostly just looking at the rules. There's really not that much I could do. Um, so I just kind of did what I always do. I shut it. I put some seat belts. I made it so the holes are spread out. So I'm going to put some more. I did cut my hand. I'm being a little baby about it, but it's just so sensitive. Uh, I'm going to drill some holes up here for some seat belts. I'm going to put some seat belts through the back tail lights. And then when I put the new bumper on, because I'm going to go to Barry tomorrow and get the steel that I've ordered. Anyway, it's like 180 bucks for the steel I ordered. And uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to remove this bumper, because I don't think this bumper is very good. And put a steel tubing bumper on the back of this thing. And uh, yeah, so once we do that, I, maybe I'll put some PB Blaster on that tonight just to let those bolts soak in so maybe they can come apart. Um, but uh, what was I saying there? Yes, once we get the steel tubing bumper on the back and we run our seatbelts through the tail lights, then we will run the seatbelt around the bumper. I think we actually have to use chain or nine wire. I think I'm just going to use some nine wire. I got so much of it, I bought a Blizzard Bash. And just kind of go around it as well just so that the bumper stays on. I'll probably weld a nut to the top of it or something. Um, now for the back window, 
I've been really looking at these rules and uh, the rule says I can have six pieces of chain on the trunk lid. So I don't, it, there's not one spot. I don't know where I put the chain I cut. Where did I put the chain I cut? Here it is. So there's not one spot in the rules that says I can't weld the chain. And it doesn't say I can't cut the chain. So my plan is to weld this chain solid and put it right across there. So then I put one bolt through there and one bolt through there and then this chain's welded solid but I just tilt it like, like that. And then I run a chain from here to the top of the back window and then weld every single link. And uh, like I said, there's no rule saying I can't do that. There's, the rule doesn't say I can't weld the chain. Like, uh, let's see if I can pull it up here. Okay, so I found it here. Uh, it's under body and frame rule three. You will be allowed one 3 h chain in the back window. It must be bolted. No, oh, I have that right underneath it. No, not more than six links onto the roof and no more than six links onto the trunk lid. It can be fastened down with, with as many three eighths, as many as three eighths bolts and washers on the roof and three three eighths bolts on the trunk lid. So it does not say anywhere there, sorry if my reading's a little bit bad, I was trying to focus on that in the camera. So it doesn't say anywhere in those rules that these chain links can't be welded. So my plan, my plan is just five links right here so then I can have it come down right in the middle and then have it go up and do the exact same thing and every link be welded on that. I don't know if it's going to pass the rules, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> just going to send it. So uh, maybe I'll leave the bumper off until tomorrow and uh, I'm going to start welding this chain up. Well, that looks like crap, but it's done. Uh, I'm probably going to put a little bit more weld on it tomorrow, but it's it's honestly so hot that I can't touch it. Uh, it's raining outside. I could probably go put it out in the rain, but honestly, it's just going to make it harden, which is going to make it weaker. And Let's face it, these welds kind of suck. I wanted just the plain chain, but I couldn't get it because they're sold out. Went to three different stores. Uh, so I had to get like this zinc plated stuff and it was $9 a foot. $9 a foot for this stuff, which I can't believe. But uh, we're allowed six links on the trunk and I only have five. We're allowed six on the roof and I only have five. So I'm gonna bolt that down tomorrow and then maybe put a little bit more welds on it. But that's, that's still pretty warm. That's where I think I'm gonna have it is right about there. And then, uh, yeah, so we're gonna finish that up tomorrow, maybe put a little bit more weld on it. But, uh, so right now, all we need to do is get the bumpers and then finish tying the seatbelts through there and seatbelts through there and then bumper, chain it up. Or uh, to be honest, with the price of this damn chain, I am not gonna be buying any more chain. At $9.99 a foot, I am not buying any more chain. What are you doing? What was that? A pup? She's trying to get on that chair and it's moving too much. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much where we got today. It's about 10 o'clock at night. I'm gonna call it a night tonight, but uh, honestly guys, this car's coming along pretty good. Um, what's left to do is get all the doors shut, finish the cage, um, get the proper battery into it, button up a whole bunch of electrical, like finish tightening down the computer. I want a voltmeter in it. Uh, finish taking out all of the electrical and stuff around my feet inside there. Uh, tighten up the shifter cable because it reverses a little bit, top up all the fluids, and then uh, this car, and paint job, I'm going to try to do a, a half decent paint job. Uh, Cassandra won't be around to paint this for a bit, so I'm going to have to paint it myself, so it's going to look like garbage because I'm not an artist. And then, uh, yeah, I guess, well, I guess we're going to make it. I might not even have these videos up by the time I go down, but just want you guys to know that I'm trying to film stuff for you. Uh, I want to pack all lot nine wire as well. Uh, I'm allowed a little bit more nine wire inside the car. It says I'm allowed nine wire inside the car two spots. So I'm going to wait until I get there to see where other people's putting it. Uh, they might be putting it from like here. 
here to here. I'm not, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. But only time will tell, guys. Um, still a lot more stuff to do, like uh, like the doors and stuff. But thanks for watching, everybody. We got a lot done out here today. We're going to be getting the bumpers on probably here tomorrow, and then uh, the day after that, Sunday, uh, Friday. Uh, Steven's coming and we're gonna spend all day working on Steven's car so I'll be filming that there they've changed the rules a week and a half before the derby so we have to do a lot of stuff to that thing to make it competitive so thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you back here later on Zach's workshop